Go ahead, through the carpet in it. Everything is sound deadened under there. Sound deadener all through there. We got the roof lined with sound deadener. We got the doors lined with sound deadener. We steam cleaned the headliner. It looks a lot better. And that looks significantly better than that does. All my little plastic panel pieces here, painted up. And they put a radio in and they only wired up the two front speakers. So I have absolutely fallen down a massive rabbit hole of wiring. Okay, so I ended up abandoning that project last night. It was getting cold, it was getting late. Um, so I decided I was gonna take a break from it, but I'm back on it again today. I've already went ahead and got the wiring for the radio fixed. I've confirmed it works front and rear speakers. Uh, I've already gone ahead and got my heater controls out. This is the 90 up. They glow like a green glow. Here's the 88 and 89, the orange. Like I said, I'm gonna be swapping to an orange tack cluster. So I wanted my heater controls to match. And these look significantly better than these. And I went ahead, grabbed a pretty good looking rear view mirror. I'm gonna to upgrade to the Ford Escort dome light while I have the old one out. It didn't work anyway. So now I'm just gonna slap the Heater controls back in, set the radio back in place, and then I could put, th this is an issue too. Found this, I think this is a seat buzzer. You could put the key in and you turn it. I don't know if you can hear that. That's a little buzzing. It goes away when you finagle that. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. Apparently it did it all night. Didn't run the battery down though. So, may not be an issue. May leave it be, who knows. Uh, but I'm thinking today's today, 100%, we're gonna get the interior back in it and we're gonna be well on our way to having us a driver. Many hours later, here we are, running into so much trouble here. We finally have our radio in, installed, working. We've got the orange heater controls in and working, and we've got a whole side of plastics here. We've got the speaker back there, it's wired up. Rear view mirror installed. We are trucking along now. So now I just gotta duplicate this over here. We'll be in good shape. All right, I'm taking you for the ride with me here. I think that's supposed to have another bolt in it, but. We're gonna let it slide. All right, we've got this side plastic stuck in place. Looks pretty good. I wanna get this plastic in and get some seats in so we can move forward with this feller. Let's grab our plastic panels. Move, 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 move. This one there. This mug looks significantly better than it used to. Very good. Get to pull that out. That goes back there. It's somewhere. Somewhere there's little push pins. Brother, can we not? Can we just go in? We ain't gotta give us all this trouble. You know, I feel like it's not all that necessary. Did we break it? Maybe, don't really know. Next, big piece. convenient is that okay okay that goes there had to rob a whole bunch of these screws from the other car the rusty screws really really tie the look together let me just put this up here first if there really is a difference between like having the wires correctly installed on the speakers. Uh, 
Dang it, Bobby Ray. So we now have all our plastics in. Uh, that looks good. Now I gotta snag the seat belts in it. I hope I have the bolts for that. Maybe. Look, that looks like a seat belt bolt to me. All right, that's how that would go. Something like that. Modify. 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 Seat belts installed, plastic installed. Now let's go get this rear seat. So let's go ahead, chunk this mug in place. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, son. Make sure that our the nuts lined up. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't at all. There it is. Come on, buddy. Come on. Took the time to torque them to spec. All right, All right. Let's see. Up. Oh. oh, those look terrible. I didn't clean those at all. All right, check this out. We got our plastics in, all of them. The speaker grills, the speakers wired up. The back seat is in. Man, I gotta say, that looks pretty good. Pretty good. So, um, before you ask, we definitely, absolutely, 100% torque down all the seatbelt bolts like you're supposed to. We did that, I promise. So next, all I think I need to do is uh, throw in the two front seats, then finish up the little center console thing there, and we'll be, oh, I gotta put, gotta put that back on. I may have to do the, the delete on that. Don't know what those are for, but they make noise. And we don't, I don't care for the noise. So we're gonna get rid of that, probably, maybe. Next up, we're throwing seats in it. I'm ready to sit in it, drive it out of the shop. I'm, it's been like five days, four days, I don't even know. It's been too long, get it out of here. Tired of looking at it, I just wanna drive it, so. Let's get them front seats put in. Okay. That's put back together. We did the delete on the, I guess the seatbelt buzzer, if I had to guess. Maybe. Anyway, let's throw the seats back in it. Our chariot. Let's see. Driver's seat. Ah. Okay, okay. I'll get that bolt out. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. It's pretty rusted. And I ain't gonna lie to you. The, the little, I guess the nut that goes on the inside of the that little support there, well, it's gone. Absolutely gone. Oh, stop that. No, no, no. Come on back. Come on back. There you go. Need a seat belt or a seat bolt. I think that's one of them. Oh, I probably could have sprayed this plastic too, huh? 
Hmm. Live and learn. This one? Maybe. Hey, hey, hey. Look at that. Bam. Look at that. That'll good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. Now make sure I got these bolts out of here. Nope. Nope. There's one. Um Huh. We have acquired the seat bolts. Now we need the seat. We'll have to tint that glass. Can't be seen rolling around in this thing, you know? Stop that. That's not cross threaded. That's what we needed. Now, did this thing get extremely hard to move all of a sudden? It's not very easy, huh? Needs a little bit of the grease on it. There we go. It's coming around now. Yeah, there it is. That works. Here we are in the future, down the road a little bit. It's been about a week or so, maybe uh, two weeks actually, since I finished this thing up. I'm just now getting around to the third part of this three-part installment here. This is the final part of it. So the Festiva is now a daily driver. We have gotten all the interior stuck together like you guys have seen. We got the mat pockets painted up, got the seat stuck in it, all the plastics in it painted, the headliner cleaned up, the Ford Escort dome light stuck up there, and everything has come together really well. The plastics look great, uh, you know, compared to what they were, compared to what they would have been if we just stuck them in place. We got all the heater controls, the orange heater controls stuck in and functional, and got the orange tack cluster stuck in. It's functional as well. I already swapped over my wiper and defrost buttons for when we swap the rear hatch for the 89's wiper hatch. But so far, I've been daily driving it about a week, two weeks now. It's been doing great, actually. A little hiccups here and there. Still need to do some fine tuning to really get the gas mileage out of it. Something's not right, not sure what it is. Thinking it's oxygen sensor, but I really don't know. But so far, it's just, you know, it's been doing about as good as a little Festiva can do can't complain too much uh i do have some things that i'm gonna be doing to it but now that it's a daily driver and it's not really a, a big project i'm just gonna be doing them you know a little piece at a time the next thing that i plan on doing to it is i got a subwoofer coming it's gonna go back here i've got a single 10 a svr i think a svr scar 10 go back here i gotta wire that up so i gotta pull half of this back out so that made a lot of sense to do this down the road but whatever and i've got to swap this hatch because it's somebody wired it up wrong and it doesn't shut straight like you gotta really slam on it and when you do you still got a gap there and you got no gap there so something's not right and i really want this car to have the wiper 
that the 89 LX has back there. So we're gonna get that swapped over. May, you know, record all the snippets and then when we have enough to make a video on, we'll we'll throw a video out on it. But otherwise, it's, it's pretty good. Uh, here before, I know 100% for a fact, this car's going to a Holly Ford Fest. And before then, we gotta put some coilovers on it because we're gonna be doing autocross. And we may do a little cleaning up on it. I'm not super concerned. I think I've kind of ruled it out for power tour. I don't think I'm going to take it on power tour. Uh, Jerry's going to ride with me. And I think we're going to take the dart. So that's, that's what we're going to be working on here soon. Probably next video you'll see me working on the dart. But that's, that's really all we have for the old Festiva right now. The, the interior, it come around really good. Really, really happy with it. And, uh way better than when we started hopefully i could try to keep it clean but you see my hand you know it's work car so we'll do what we can but anyway that's that's all we have for this little three-part installment that you see here did you enjoy it what do you think about it i mean do you think it was worth the time and effort to clean this car up like we did i mean after all it's still just a little festiva you know but anyway i appreciate everybody for following along and watching and supporting and commenting and liking and all that i really do appreciate it i read all the comments and uh you know we've we've really grown here here recently and i'm i'm gonna thank you all for that i hope you stick around and watch the other projects come about anyway that's all for now we'll see you next time